And we're back to learning Midjourney. Let me show you how I used it to create a mascot logo. At first I picked something that I liked. For example, this works easily with the owl, eagle, lion. No problem with this. Here we have a problem. You can't yet generate working text in Midjourney. So this is something that you have to still do manually. But you don't have to use animals. For example, here a skeleton, a skeleton kind of design. Ninja design or whatever you want to call this, it still works. The prompt that I found most helpful is this one. Let's type in imagine and sport mascot logo illustration and head only. Afterwards you add your subject. In my case I just want to make it a bear. Let us prompt it again. And this time we'll check something like this. So as I've said a skeleton skeleton kind of design. I'll just call the skeleton figure. Whenever you don't know how to describe it, download the image, use describe as a command in Midjourney and then paste the image and it's going to give you a good idea of what you could use. Let's prompt it again. I'll stick to the bear. And now I add symmetrical. This has also helped me for the most part. I didn't need it. But if you don't get good results without it, just try to add symmetrical. Here's our skeleton design. Not all are usable, but first and second may be interesting. Let us wait for symmetrical bear. And here it is. Especially number four is this typical eSports mascot logo. You can also play around with the colors. Just add a specific color palette, for example, red color palette. Well, let's use the same prompt and this time I'll make it a green color palette. You can also try abstract ways of describing your color palette, for example, monochrome or minimalistic or vibrant color palette, something like this. But if you have a specific color in mind, just use it here with color palette and you can see the bear is now red or green. And here are two results. Once you've got what you want, for example, let me choose number three here in red. I upscale it. You can use very strong and subtle and see if it gives you even better results. Or once you've got what you want, open it in browser, save the image. And now use a vectorizer program. I like to use this one, it's free. I'm going to link to it. Upload it here, it's going to take some time to get processed. We'll check our variations. Here is subtle. And here is strong where we even have a little bit of a tilt in the head right here. If you want to get rid of the background, it's also a good idea to add white background to your prompt. But in this case the red one is easily selectable. So we'll keep this. Make sure it's an SVG when you download it with vectorizer.ai. And then you can open, for example, Inkscape and drag and drop it here. And use the notes tool, for example. You can see it's all vectors or it's all notes now. And as I've said, I could easily select this background here and delete it. But if you can't, use the same prompt and add white background and it should be good. On this how I've used Midjourney to create these typical mascot logos. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.